Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Jonathan. Today is October 3rd, and right now it's 9.43 uh, a.m. Uh, I actually just finished a video into, uh, talking about my S9 Plus. But anyway, this video is going to uh, quickly describe about how you back your phone up. Imagine if you got a new phone, uh, you want to transfer all your data over what you had to do. And it should may, mainly be the same for all phones, but the one that I'll be talking about today is mainly Samsung which I have in front of me. So this is my old phone. Currently, I'm using the new phone to record. Um, so I actually did a video last night using my computer. Bad quality, lagging like crazy. So I'm thinking about redoing it right now again. So show you guys how to back it up. There's actually uh, two or three ways to back it up. Uh, first way, obviously, you could use the cable, plug into your computer, and then transfer all your data onto your computer first. Excuse me. Second way is back everything up to the cl the cloud. So you could back it up to the Samsung uh, cloud. They have their own cloud and then you also could back it up into a Google. Uh, I think Microsoft also has that too. If you have a Hotmail account or something like that, you could also back every all your content list onto a Hotmail um, account the Google, uh, for Microsoft. So Google actually back up all your photo as well every time. If you have your um, phone, go to your setting. And if you have, uh, if you turn on your sync right here sync setting so if you turn this on so every time when you take photo if you use the phone the phone is actually in sync with the with the cloud so every time they'll be backing up constantly daily so that's good but anyway so I'll be talking about um, how you could back it up a few different way um, so first way I'm going to talk about the Samsung so mainly the first thing you need to go into your setting so there's two ways to get into your setting first way obviously you go to your manual and then you get a two button right there so you click on that there we go that's how you get into your setting uh, sorry guys this we got the background color because um, I changed my background to red I know it's kind of hard to see but for now that's that's how things goes anyways the second way so the second way is you kind of pull down the top and then you see that corner right there? It's sort of like a gear shape. If you click on that, you get into your setting too. So after you get into your setting, go down to um, account and backup right there. If you see that account and backup. Uh, when you get into your account backup, click on that. If you click on that, it has, uh, let's see, backup and restore, uh, Samsung Cloud, and Smart Switch. So those are the three ways that they... They offer um, for you to uh, back it up. So let me quickly talk about each one, okay? Um, so if you click on Samsung Cloud, just click on that. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't really show you guys Samsung Cloud because I do not have an internet. <laughs> so I took my SIM card out into a new phone. So right now this phone does not have a data on, on it. In order to... To use a Samsung Cloud, you need uh, internet, either Wi-Fi or, you know, like a service provider. But unfortunately, I take everything out, and right now I'm outside, so I don't really have a Wi-Fi. But just believe me, when you click on Samsung Cloud, they this they give you all the description of like when was last time you back it up, when was last time the uh, not you but the phone back it up. Uh, they do it automatically if you hit the sync button, have that switch on. So let's. Go for the manual one. Uh, if you click on backup and restore, so when you click on that, they have few selection right here. The top two is a Samsung account. So if you have an account with them, it's free actually, guys. So just open a Samsung account, it's free, and then you could back everything up there. So just click on it, back everything up, and then if you if this is your new phone, you also could click on restore data. So they took everything out from the cloud and restore onto it. Second way is a Google account. So obviously Google can now you need a Wi-Fi as well. Uh, you could back all the data up onto the Google and stuff. And then the last one is external. So if you have a cable plugged into your computer or any external hard drive, click on that and it back everything up to the hard drive. And then the last one I want to talk about is a smart switch, which that's the one that I use. It is excellent. Uh, it is so fast as well. Um, so what is smart switch uh, so smart switch is a it's basically uh it is it, it's, it's a transfer system 
where it transferred basically they copy everything on the phone onto another phone um, you you could be selected as well you could copy just the photo itself or just the app itself or you could copy everything or all the setting as well so what happened is that after you with the phone that you want to transfer to imagine if you have another Samsung phone uh, click on smart switch click on it and then turn it on when you turn it on the Samsung uh, cloud or what you call it the smart switch will start detecting they'll ask you two way you want is a phone connected through cable both each other through cable or do Wi-Fi if it's do Wi-Fi connected to Wi-Fi they'll just search for each other and then when they find the phone for each other uh, you get to select what do you want to transfer you want to transfer all the photos apps um, or you could say select all and then they basically copy everything over, over. Um, not just copy it imitate everything all the layout on your original phone onto your new phone so that you don't feel like it's very unfamiliar or anything like that so everything that you have on your old phone it's on your new phone and look the same and the layout is the same and uh, it's pretty much like nothing had happened nothing had changed it just said new phone that's on uh, layout um, but other than that so that's the one that I use um, uh, on my old phone right here I think I have like used over 50 gig of storage and it only took me about last night I think it only took me like 10 minutes seven like yeah about 10 minutes to transfer everything over to your new phone so that actually pretty fast um, you don't have to use cable you don't have to back all the data up onto the crowd crowd but of course in order to use smart switch you need to have your old phone and to be next to it each other so they'll you know search for each other but anyway um, so that's the three way how to um, how you do it uh, if you have any question leave the comments below and um, I'll try to respond back to you and then subscribe to my channel, alright, if you like it. If you don't like it, subscribe as well. <laughs> alright, thank you, bye.